is invading our home. They are brutal. Relentless. Unstoppable. We are 80 Samurai against an army, fighting to slow the invasion. Today, I die for my people. There must be thousands of them. We will face death and defend our home. Tradition, courage, honor. They are what make us. We are the warriors of Tsushima. We are samurai! Nodadachi, go home, break their spirits. Outsiders, send your finest warrior to face me. Nada, Jinnida. I am Haru Nobuhadachi, descendant of the legendary Yoshi Nobuhadachi.
Kotan, cousin of Kublai, grandson of Genghis. Brother, you are a warrior. I can see that. You trained your whole life for this. And you have won battles that lesser men have called unwinnable, yes? But while you were sharpening your sword, do you know how I prepared for today? I learned. I know your language, your traditions, your beliefs, which villages to tame and wish to burn. So I'll ask you once again, Samurai. Do you surrender? Your wounds. Can you run? I... I think so. Where's my sword? Not here. You're on! Here! I'll take care of this. Please, hide. Oh, oh don't hurt me! Shield of Lumini! Christ! I have some Please, take it. I'm Yuna. You want your sword? Follow me. Yuna, wait. Lord Shimura is my uncle. You're Jin Sakai? The Jito's nephew? I have to know. Did he survive? I think so. The Mongols took him prisoner. Where did they take him? East, along the coast. Toward Castle Canada. They must be holding him inside, celebrating their victory. I could take them by surprise. You'll be killed. 
Or I'll rescue Lord Shimura. Then help him drive the Mongols into the sea. He can contact the Shogun. Call for reinforcements. I didn't nurse you back to health to watch you throw your life away. Why did you save me? I couldn't leave you to die. I need your help. Lord Shimura can help our whole island. And he's the only family I have left. Let's move. I am Jin Sakai. Nephew to the great Lord Shimura. And I am no coward! <laughs> Your enemy is no match for you. But... You still lack control. I was practicing. With your father's weapon? The sword of Clan Sakai has saved lives and ended wars. Who did this to you? No one. I will teach you to defend yourself. I know how to fight. To master your blade, you must first control your emotions. I can do that, Uncle. Show me. Let's see. Well done. If you'd fought like that, your attacker would not have bruised you so easily. It wasn't a fair fight. Imagine he's returned to finish what he started. And he'll use every dirty trick he knows. How will you defend yourself? I'll kick dirt in his eyes. Then break his nose. See how big he feels with a mouthful of blood. A small victory achieved without honor. When a samurai faces a devious foe, he must rise above them and never sink to their level, no matter how tempting. Yes, uncle. Now, break through my defenses. Show me, Jin Sakai. Will you honor me with a sparring match? I wouldn't want to hurt you. If you're that confident, let's make this interesting. The first to land five strikes gets to choose dinner. I hope you like octopus. <laughs> Before we eat, I have one last question. For generations, our families have lived by a code. Tell me the virtues that guide us. Loyalty to our Lord, control over our emotions, and... You know this. Honor, to fight bravely and uphold the legacy of Clan Sakai. Those are your father's words. What does honor mean to you? I guess... protecting people. The ones who can't fight for themselves. You have a good heart. But first, we must show everyone that we serve our Lord with courage, integrity, and self-control. You say that like it's easy. It's never easy, Jin. I struggle with it every day. But we must set an example for our people by remaining true to our code and to ourselves. That is the meaning of honor. Ah, not her samurai! We can get close. 
slit their throats and kill them without a sound. Without honor. I will not break my code. Face me, invader! Thank you, my lord. They said all the samurai were dead. Do you have somewhere to hide? I heard Golden Temple might be safe. Go. Stay off the roads. And guard your son with your life. You risked your life for them. They couldn't defend themselves. And I... I can't let more of our people die. They're not the only ones who need you. My brother. The Mongols took him. That's why you saved me. Taka is my only family. And Lord Shimura is mine. Please. I just want my brother back. I'll help you find him after I save my uncle. I promise. I'm coming with you. Sakai, nephew of Lord Shimura. I have come to avenge his honor. <laughs> Jin, your uncle has told me much about you, Jin Sakai. I will show him his nephew. Broken and humiliated, begging to join the Mongol Empire. <laughs> this is your time, Lord Sakai. Young master, it's time. I'm coming, Yuriko. The whole island has come to mourn your father. Can't you send them away? You must face them, Jin. You are now the master of Clan Sakai. Yes. You're not alone, Jin. Your father is the wind at your back. 
Your mother. The birds in the trees. And uncle? He will tell you. At your father's pyre. Thank you, Yuriko. If you ever need guidance, Clan Adachi will help you. Your father protected the people above all else. A true samurai. Save him. I was a coward. Jin, you are a samurai. He died because of me. Your father fell in battle saving his only son. His reward is a warrior's death. Now you will carry on his legacy. Your father's spirit resides within this blade. He is always with you. How do I save? Jin, what happened? I found Lord Shimra. I could have saved him, but the Khan was there. I failed my uncle. At least you're in one piece. I swore to protect this island with my life. But now the Mongols have stolen our home, killed our samurai. You forgot what it's like to fight someone stronger than you. To 
feel weak. Sometimes when you're staring death in the face, you have to do whatever it takes to survive. The Khan expects to fight a war against the Samurai. He will anticipate our every move, unless we find new ways to surprise him. That's how we'll save Lord Shimura, and retake our home. You'll need some help. Riders. The Khan's attack dogs. There's too many of them. Hide in the grass. They must be searching for you. Bastards scared off the horses. They're samurai mounts. Trained to return to their masters. Horse! <laughs> nice trick. The Mongols must be hunting you. We should split up. I'll draw their attention while you escape. I'm not leaving your side until we've saved my brother. First, I need to find more allies. Trained warriors, like Sensei Ishikawa and Lady Masako Adachi, they can help. My brother can help too. Once we save him, you'll have the island's best blacksmith in your debt. He'll make whatever tool you need to save your uncle. Something to scale the castle walls? You dream it, Taka can make it. Where are they holding him? He was captured near Kechi. Ride there and ask around. I'll join you soon. Taka won't last long in the Mongol cage. You know, we will save your brother. And your uncle. Think, Jin. The bear's running with a limp. Your arrow wounded him. This is when a beast is most dangerous. Remain alert. Yes, Uncle. Keep after him. I didn't think bears lived here. They don't. But the fighting in Yarikawa drove some this way. So it's the rebels' fault. We should feed them to this bear as punishment. We are not barbarians, Jin.
pair stumbled here. Is it dying? No, but we are getting closer. Yes, Uncle. If it's still alive, can I take the shot? Prove you can control your emotions. Then, perhaps. We got him! Careful! He could still be alive. Arrow should not have killed him. Look, Uncle, there's a gash in his side, not from an arrow. An assassin! From Yarikawa! Traitor! You would stab the Chido in the back! Rosakai! Control yourself. We are not criminals, like this man here. We are samurai. He tried to kill you! He must answer for this crime with his life. And look him in the eye. And teach him that samurai never acts out of anger or fear. And take his life with honor. Fight. We face our enemy head on. And when we take their life, we look them in the eye with courage and respect. This is what makes us samurai. Only cowards strike from the shadows. Jin, what's wrong? Let's find your brother. Ikawa, maybe. You'd better be right. I hope you find your blacksmith. Taka's alive in Osmo Bay. The town is surrounded by walls. Rushing in without a plan will only put him in more danger. I have a friend who might be able to get us inside. Find him. The sooner we rescue Tucker, the sooner we save my uncle. Jin. Tucker will forge whatever tool you need as soon as he's free. But after that, we're leaving the island. You've seen what the Mongols are doing here. Lord Shimura can stop them. Stay. Help us fight for our home. Home is wherever Taka and I go. My friend lives in Asmo Prefecture, on the border with Tsutsu. I'll find you there. I know this wasn't easy, going against your code. I did what I had to. Thank you. You deserve better than this. Convince your people to stop resisting, and you can walk free. Stop wasting my time. Kill me. 
you think you've lost everything. But your nephew is still alive. <laughs> My men control the roads. They build war camps near your towns. They see everything, and they will find him. Lord Sakai will fight until his last breath. As will I. You love him. Just as you love your people. You're a father to them. Will you abandon your children? I won't make them your slaves. Taka's counting on us. I love the kid, but this is too dangerous. It will never work. We'll make it work. This the samurai? You can call me Lord Sakai. <gasps> Forgive me, my lord. I am Kenji, upstanding merchant, renowned sake brewer. And the best swindler on the island. That's why he's going to help us rescue my brother from Azamo Bay. That town's a fortress. If the Mongols took it, we'll need an army to penetrate the walls. Or a single delivery of sake. <laughs> It'll never work. Get your sake ready. We'll discuss the plan on the move. Yeah, let's have a drink first. Talk this through. Now, Kenji. When we get close to the town, you can hide in the cart with the sake. The Mongols won't search it? Not anymore. It's the same sake delivery I always sell them. They love my dars. Dars, Mughal, give a dars now! You've been doing business with the enemy. I keep the Mongols drunk, and they let me keep my head. Oh, Seth, you sure you want to go through with this? Anything for Taka. How bad is the occupation in Azuma Bay? A few people fought back. The ones left alive are prisoners or slaves. But you never saw Taka? No. But someone's been working the forge the past few days. Maybe it's your brother. How long have you two known each other? Since I was too young to know better. I was just starting to brew sake. Sold Yuna my first batch. <laughs> Tasted like piss, but it was cheap. For a while, I tried to get Taka's help selling it. Turned out he was too soft. People told him sob stories, and he'd give them sake, free of charge. Mongols. Damn, you two better get in the cart. There aren't many. I can handle them. No, Jin. Taka is so close. Please. All right. Oh, no. Somebody must have pissed off the Mongols. They burned half the town. <clears throat> this is where we part ways. Keep the Mongols drunk and distracted. I'll do my best. Stay safe, Kenji. And you, Lord Sakai. Taka's waiting for us. Let's go. No, Nicole. please. I need to rest. It's Taka. Please! You know, Taka? What did they do to you? You're safe now. We need to move. We can't. They'll catch us, just like the others. This is Lord Sakai. He'll protect us. I need you to trust me, Taka. I need your help. I'll try, my lord. Forge. One of the best on the island. 
Good place to make tools. Maybe something to get gin over the walls of Castle Canada. What do you say, Taka? My lord, I'll do anything to repay you for freeing me. Thank you. Taka, Genji, get some rest. We can't stay here long. How are you doing? I have my brother back. He's shaken up. Can you get him to Komatsu in one piece? With food and rest, he'll be fine. Your brother wasn't the only prisoner in Azomo Bay. You're going to save them. And make their captors suffer. Good. Ride for Komatsu Forge. I'll join you when I can. Jin. Thank you. The Sensei's dojo is up there on the cliff. Don't move! Sensei Ishikawa. Lord Sakai's boy. <laughs> you survived Komoda. We could have used your bone. I was on my way when bandits attacked me. Are you expecting them to return? A samurai is never caught by surprise. I'm sorry about Lord Shimura. He was a good man. He's alive. Taken captive by the Mongols. Then there's hope. That's why I've come. Help me save him. I can't. My student is missing. A skilled archer. I will help you look. Then you can both help me free Lord Shimura. Try and keep up, Sakai. Tomoe would never leave that quiver behind. Unless she was pursued. Or captured. To what end? Interrogation. Torture. Worse. They may be doing the same to Lord Shimura. Fear is a weapon, Sakai. Do not let the Mongols use it against you. Your student, where would they take her? Fort Nakayama. The fort is nearby. I should have fought the Komura with you. Better you didn't. We lost enough there. Why did the samurai fail? The Mongols fought like animals. Wrong answer. I saw it with my own eyes. An archer's aim relies not on eyes, but on body, mind, and spirit. Stop here. We need to talk. What's wrong, Sensei? This bow was a gift to me from Lord Nagao many years ago. It's a beautiful weapon. Of course it is. And there's nothing more painful to me than a perfect bow ineptly used. Then it's a good thing you're giving it to me. <sighs> Who said anything about giving? Prove you can shoot straight. I'll let you borrow it. We're looking for a woman, an archer. The Mongols caged her with us. But they set her free, gave her armor and a ball. She killed my wife and the others. The bodies we found. She proved her skill to the enemy, and they recruited her. Please. It, it hurts. Don't leave me. I've seen enough. Let's go. I demand an answer. She attacked me. Not bandits. Tomoe. Why? She has no idea what it means to be samurai. You drove her to the Mongols. Do not judge me. Do not lie to me. I can't let Tomoe teach my way of the bow to the enemy. And we will stop her. 
This is my fight. I don't need your weapon. No, you need me. Victory is won by warriors, not weapons. Hmm. Lord Shimura raised you well. We'll hunt them away together, but we do it my way. And when the time comes, you will help rescue my uncle. You have my word, Sakai. I will prepare to hunt them away. When you are ready, meet me at my dojo. We can't rescue my uncle alone. I need more people to join our fight. Fine lady Masako Adachi. If she's still alive, she's one of the finest warriors on the island. Sensei, any word on Tomoe? Yes, but I'm not sure you are ready for her. You make her sound like a demon. That's not far off the mark. Tomoe is fearless. She is not samurai, but she is a born killer. I know the type. No, you do not. You said the only way up was to climb. No. I said you had to climb. It's good exercise. Arrows, Mongol and Japanese. If they were here, they're long gone. We might pick up their trail by the practice target. There is no target. Near that watchtower. Not bad, Sensei. Find out where they went. You knew those Mongols were still here. Yes. You didn't think to mention it? If you can't handle a few Mongols, what good will you be against Tomoe? This is war, not a test. And how many wars have you fought? I'll test you as I see fit. I can see why Tomoe attacked you. How to hunt. They heard Tomoe giving orders to the Mongols. She mentioned Hiyoshi Springs. She's just getting started. Sakai, the way you fight, it's not your uncle's way, and it's not mine. We've never faced an enemy like this. I do what I must to defeat them. A samurai is a guardian, not a killer who darts around like a thief. You didn't see Komodo. I've seen enough! I know it was brutal, but I won't train another monster. I know. I won't let that happen. If Tomoe is going after Yoshi Springs, I need to prepare. So do you. I'll see you at my dojo, Sakai. Can't sleep. Not since I heard about those masked men hiding in the bamboo forests of Hyoshi. There's plenty to fear without worrying about folktales. Mm. It's no folktale, my lord. They call themselves protectors of the great Uchitsune's longbow. Try to rest. I'll find out who these masked men really are. The musician in Hyoshi Springs can tell you more. But be careful, my lord. Some believe Uchitsune's curse lives on. Long ago, an emperor and his palace were plagued by a winged demon. The emperor sent for Uchitsune, the most renowned archer of his time, who wielded a bow blessed by Akami. When the demon next came, Uchitsune was ready, long bow in hand. His aim was truer, and his arrows flew farther than any archers in Japan. Uchitsune loosed a single arrow. It pierced the demon's heart. As it fell to the ground, it cursed Uchitsune with its final breath. Soon after, Uchitsune saw the forms of the demon everywhere. His legendary bow never missed. But each arrow that hit its mark was met with a very human scream. The trail of bodies led to his capture. 
Though many called for Uchitsune's death, the Emperor felt pity for him. Uchitsune was banished to Tsushima Island. He died years later, alone and forgotten by all but a few. The demon slaying Longbow has remained hidden here since his passing. Some say it awaits a worthy master. Others believe it still holds the demon's curse. Curse or not, the bow sounds powerful. Take care, my lord. The bow inspires darkness in those who seek it. I'll bear that in mind. The question is where to begin looking. To quiet his mind, Uchitsune often walked the coast, obsessed with the blue hydrangeas that grew there. Perhaps they'll provide a clue. Stop searching for the cursed bow. It leads only to death. He would. Continue your search, and Tsushima will fall. Enough. Speak plainly. This is your last chance. Leave the bow alone. Uchisune's longbow. Where am I? The bow is cursed. You will see nothing but death to the end of your days. Who killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts. Shigenori, the fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima. Shigenori never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared, and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest. By a student who knows of its location, 
to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I've heard the name. He fought for the Yarikoa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. We're pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the watchtower. Working with the Mongols? Yes. But last night they argued. Only made out one word. Shigenori. I'll search the watchtower. Find somewhere safe before more Mongols come. Yasuhira Koga, the butcher of the rebellion. Time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yarikawa burned, boy. For 15 years, I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you. Strike couldn't save you. You deserve greater respect than this. I promise I'll use Shigenori's technique to protect Tsushima against all who would harm it. You made it. What happened here? Where's Taka? Hiding with what's left of Komatsu. Mongols came a few days ago. They took prisoners. Killed anyone who put up a fight. Now they're coming back to finish the job. These were just scouts. The main force won't be far behind. Then we have to go. Now. We can hold this town. What? We need Komatsu's forge, and its people. If you need to, you can leave. No. I'm tired of running. Take me to the others. I prayed the gods would protect you. I appreciate it, but I came for your help. Yuna said you needed something. A new tool. To save Lord Shimura. He's held prisoner in Castle Canada, and I need to break him out. Quietly, with no one seeing. This town has a forge, and you're a blacksmith. The best. I might be able to make something. But there is no time. The Mongols! I won't let them take Kumatsu. We're staying. I need my assistant, Yukio. But we got separated. Where is he? I think he was looking for his wife. In town. I'll find Yukio. Yuna, be ready to fight. She always is. <laughs> 